And now to our lab, Whoa. where we do incredible experiments. Oh, looks disgusting. To show you how your body works. Not pretty to look at, but it is brilliant stuff. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Take a look at this. It's a skull that's over a hundred years old. Now it's from a five-year-old, but look carefully and you'll see why I really wanted to show it to you. This skull has two sets of teeth. These are milk teeth and these are the adult teeth. They're waiting to come through when the milk teeth fall out. But what's amazing about this is that it's not amazing at all. If you're still waiting for your adult teeth, just think they're already in your head fully grown. Underneath your skin, your skull will look just like this one. Both sets of teeth are coated with enamel. It's the hardest substance in your body. It's even harder than bone, but it's not indestructible, as we're about to find out. Does my breath smell bad? Yes, it does, actually. I'm not surprised. I haven't brushed my teeth in two days. But it's all for a good cause, isn't it, Chris? I hope so. In fact, it was my idea. Whilst I've been brushing my teeth twice a day, as you should, I haven't let Chris brush his at all for two days. But it's all in the name of medical research. My teeth feel fuzzy. That's because Chris has a layer of plaque building up on them. Open wide. I'm going to show you why plaque isn't something you want a lot of. When you go to the dentist, you'll have had your teeth scraped like this. Going anywhere nice on holiday this year, Chris? No. Oh, lovely. I've been there. It's wonderful at this time of year. Oh, Chris, this is disgusting. <laughs> plaque is a mixture of food particles, acid and bacteria. We've all got thousands of different bacteria living in our mouths, and most of them are harmless. But there are some bad ones that can turn the sugars in the food we eat into acid. And it's this plaque acid that's the real problem. It eats away at the tooth enamel, and that's what tooth decay is. Please, can I have my toothbrush back now? Soon, there's more to show you. We're both going to rinse our mouths with a special blue dye that will show up how much plaque we have on our teeth. It's my brush gnashers first. Ta-da! <laughs> you look really funny. You look funny. Now, even though Zand has been brushing regularly, you can see some dye has stuck to his teeth, and that's all plaque. Now, that makes me a bit worried, because I haven't brushed my teeth for over two days. Ah, why'd you do that? It was your idea. Well, after a quick rinse with the blue dye, it's time to check out the state of my unbrushed teeth. Oh, there's plaque everywhere. How do you let this happen? So, if you compare my lovely, clean brush teeth with Chris's disgusting unbrushed teeth, you can really see the difference. And all that plaque has built up in just two days. That's gross. I feel quite disgusting. I would like my toothbrush back. Nope. I want to get a much closer look at your plaque, Chris which is why I've put a dollop of it under this microscope. Look at this. Wow! So these bacteria are the ones that live in my plaque. And although we can't tell which are the good ones and which are the bad ones, some of them are the ones that produce the acid that is rotting my teeth right now. Yep, and if you just leave plaque, it hardens like cement. That's called tartar, and it builds and builds. It can damage your gums and give you rotting teeth that look like this. Not a good look. That's it. I've had enough. I am going to brush my teeth. No, he's not. 